So the current administration definitely is encouraging providers to assume more accountability in the form of risk. We've seen this in a number of different ways. Um, there really is an emphasis to assume risk more quickly. And that's something that I think we're troubled by, but they view increased accountability as one of the main ways in which to reduce costs. I think we're pushing back on that notion because we see a lot of really great work being done by our members to reduce costs and improve quality before they're in a risk-based model. Um, one thing I would also note is that I think in a way the current administration has discouraged moving to risk by proposing to make the pipeline for ACOs um, sort of diminished. So if we have fewer ACOs that are incentivized to enter in the program, I think long term we'll see fewer ACOs that are ready to take on risk. So it's sort of a little bit of a catch-22. By pushing people into risk too fast, you may actually disincentivize them from participating at all.